Hi again. I, I didn't know I was going to do a part three, but the Lord's just taking me full circle. Now, two years ago, he showed me Bill Collins, that song, Can You Feel It Coming in the Air Tonight? That's about the sound. The sound, why, the sound that was heard in the ear. That's what heard us, the truth is, into a place of no coming back. An ominous place. It started raining. It's beautiful. Okay, so I want to link that song. Um, Phil Collins is an angel and he's going to be turned up. The Lord has spoken to me about his songs. That song in the year tonight is particularly important. It is a war their song. He does remember. See this? Do you remember? He does remember. He may not be conscious of it. But he does remember, the Lord has shown me clearly. He saw what Satan did. He has the eyes to see. He is a warrior. He is a warrior. I know this in faith because I look and I see in the spirit, I hear the Lord. It hasn't come to pass yet, but it's, it's truer. Than what I see with natural eyes. In saying that, the Lord has shown me another song which I have uploaded before. But if you see here on my history, after I posted that Elton John video with the baby and the embryo being formed, this song came up. So I don't want to get a Kodak, I will link it so you can hear the song, it's beautiful. It just sounds like a love song, feels great with love songs. But there is gold in this song, especially the video. So I'm going to play the beginning so you can hear it. And I will play the very end so you can hear it. And I will mute the actual music video and I'll just pray and ask the Lord and I'll give you some form of commentary I don't know what I'm going to say I have an idea and that's about it okay so you need to watch the beginning and watch the end it's like a rewind um, how it starts It's like, the only way out is the only way in. It's like, what happens in the beginning, he has another chance. He has a second chance. We all have a second chance here. We were part of the insurrection. But those who are turned up, we saw what he did. We, we can see what Lucifer did. We fell with him. We were trapped. We were trapped. But we see what he did. And at the end of this video, he changes his path based on these new facts, this new truth. Jesus is the truth. He will set you free. He will set Phil free. And he will not follow the female rival, that opposite spirit, opposite Satan. So we're going to see him, see her. We're going to see him see Satan in the beginning of this video, and then we're going to see him do something different at the end. Okay? Oopsie. Gold Vision IQ. Light adjusting picture perfection. Filmmaking mode. True to the director's vision. Netflix calibrated. Precise colors. Oh, here we go.
Phil remembers. Sounds great in here. What'd you think? Sound all right? Good. Come on in. Your root beer floats here, and there's a phone call for you. Hear the sound? the phone call he gets the call right he sees her lightning Lucifer he sees her and he opens the door and what does he walk into I watch it one more time So I can't play the sound. This is a trap. Do you remember? So the video speaks for itself. Young love. Do you remember? This is what we fell for. This is what we were, this is what she was ushering her, uh, him into. This was the trap, the seduction, the temptation. This, this is why we were here. This is why we were here. This is why we arrived. But this, this, look at this. It's love. It's a beautiful trap, isn't it? So while you're watching it, just remember when you fell in love. See the one eye symbolism? Everyone's got their own story.
So you know, you can't tell me that he doesn't know that he's not hearing God. This man is unsaved. And the Lord has shown him this. It's no accident, it's no mistakes. This is like when you think of how the supernatural ways in which the enemy broadcasts his plans. This is God's This is the, the God version. The Holy Spirit is here. And he's broadcasting the truth as well. Through his vessels. Through his godly vessels. Ones that aren't even turned up yet. Not even saved. Being used by the Lord. I know that the Lord was in my life at times. Before I was saved. And he's shown me my story. Why? Ask yourself, why in this video does he get a call? This is a bit. Hello, sir, and there's a phone call for you. Do you want to take a message? How's that? When yeah. called in flu symptoms... Tell me, how did he know that? How... Does Phil Collins know that? That it's a trap? He knew it was a trap. That's why at the beginning, he took the call, he went through the door, he followed the female rival. He was a fallen one, just like us. He went in the insurrection with Satan. He believed Satan. He believed the lie. And that's the trap that beautiful romance, that beautiful love, everything we have here, are you ready to let go of it? It's a grieving process. The Lord will take you through it. We're not from here. This is just a trap. And we will die. We will die like men. He lied to us. Phil Collins knows it. And he's not even aware of it. He knows it and he's not even aware of it. But I'm telling you his testimony, just like I share my children and my husband's testimony. I'm carrying them. I see it. And you look around you. You can see the Lord working in people's lives. And just as it says in the scripture, be kind, be, be kind, be hospitable to your brother. You never know if you are entertaining angels. Many unbelievers are going to be turned up and need to hear the Lord on who they are. So he doesn't answer the phone call. Therefore, he doesn't see the female rival usher him through the door he doesn't he's not tempted he's not tempted it brings us back to the lord's prayer lead us not into temptation it is temptation and the pope has no right to change the lord's word and the lord's prayer and he hasn't changed it in the bibles yet he's trying to change it he may have done it in the Catholic faith. But the Bible should still say trespasses, but they say debtors. It's a prince of the power of the air who's managed to do that, and God has allowed it to sort the sheep from the goats. That's why this all links to the Bible changes. It sounds great in here. What do you think? Sound right? Good. Come on in. Your root beer floats here and there's a phone call for you. Do you want to take a message? Ha <laughs> ha! A man of wisdom. A warrior. He's going to kick Satan's ass. Now you listen to that song. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? And you fight. You fight the good fight of faith. The anointing will fall on you. That is a warfare song. 
that man is a warrior and that song is a war a warfare song you will that when you sing that song just know that he is led by god he was led by god to write and produce that song same as this one and he's not even turned up yet you see the lord is the god showed me that he is the god of the beginning he's a, a god of the past the present and the future this is what i'm sh sharing here about phil collins and that's what i share about my children and even my own testimony that I know of things that are coming to come in the future. And I'm in the present. I'm always, I'm receiving my daily bread every day from the Lord. And that is what sheep do. But I also know about the past. Because the Lord has taken me through it with his eyes. The truth has shone on my past. Where before I was in darkness and I couldn't see what was happening. And it's the same with Phil. Like here he is. This is his past. But one day he will be in the present. And the Lord will take him through his past. And he will realize that the Lord has. That he has. He's alive in his spirit. He is an angel. Yet to be turned up. And that angel knows God. We are all. We all. We are all of us, all of us, every single one of us have fallen short. We have fallen, <coughs> fallen from grace. We are fallen angels and we have no excuse because he has put the knowledge of God within us. This man will do great things with the Lord. Please pray for him. Carry him in prayer. Um, the Lord told me at the time when the Lord mentioned Phil Collins and through that song, he said to me that Phil thinks he's too old. That was in 2018. And then when I went back to civilization, my I told my husband that. I, the testimony that my husband has heard through my life through my story that it won't touch him because his eyes are veiled still it's nobody comes to the father unless the father calls him calls him that's why they can't see but that doesn't mean they will never see you need to see who will see and who will not see <clears throat> don't waste your time on dead cats kick them to the gutter they are the mean they will not be turned up. God knows who they are, and he can show you. But these are ones, these ones here, they have gold in them. And this is an this is what this is what God and Jesus intercedes for us. We are interceding for those to come, the harvest to come. Fills in the harvest. <clears throat> The Lord said that he said that he thought he was too old. My husband came home and said, guess what, Lisa? Phil Collins is coming to Christ Church. I had no idea. He has a world tour. And guess what he's calling it, Lisa? Not dead yet. So take that, Satan. Because that man there is not dead yet. Those who aren't in the pen, aren't in the pen, aren't the sheep that are still, you're lost. They are not dead yet. They're not, it's not over until you die right up to that moment don't cease to pray for those ones that you know are called to the high purposes of Christ Jesus when you know that carry them faithfully not dead yet that man is not dead yet he's an ass kicker for Jesus he's going to kick Satan's ass 
Just like Jesus went into the temple and turned all the tables over. Pray for that man. Carry everyone in prayer. And be hospitable. You do not know when you are entertaining angels.